Okay, so number one is with the transforms. I did not know for such a long time that you could just right click on the transform up the top and you could copy its coordinates, you could copy its rotation. This is something you should know right out of the gate when you're using Unity. Number two, if you're going to copy stuff from another scene, you can just drag the other scene below the scene that you've got open, have two scenes open at once and copy parts between scenes. It's just so easy compared to doing it other ways. Like if you guys have a minute, please subscribe to the channel. Number three, if you're using a cloud like Plastics or Unity Collaborate, something like that, make sure that your game build is on the SSD. Do not put it on the other hard drive because when you open Unity, it will take so long to update your changes that have been made by the other people. You will just, it's probably like a 10 minutes at least. Number four, if you don't know what prefabs are, just learn all about them because they're amazing. And then actually making variants of prefabs is like such a, a great way to do things because you might have a prefab that is of a door, but then you might have the second variant door that's got a different material on it. And then if you went in and changed the code for that door to open, for example, the variant prefab and the original prefab will both work exactly the same. Great. Number five, animations are not just for show. And what I mean by this is you can use them to have a platform move that the player can jump on. You can use them to open a door. You can use them for so many things that players can interact with. They don't have to be just, oh, we can animate a, a bee flying around. Animations can be interacted with with a player.